Hey kids! Good day! Welcome back to Mamsi TV! Para sa araw na ito ay pag-uusapan o tatalakayin natin ang Solving Routine and Non-Routine Problems Involving Squares, Rectangles, Triangles, Parallelograms, and Trapezoids Para sa Math 4, Quarter 4, Week 2 So, let's start! Learning Objective In this lesson, you are expected to Solve routine and non-routine problems involving squares, rectangles, triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. Let's have some review. In previous lesson, you have learned how to find the area of irregular and regular figures. You also learned that area is the number of square units in a plane figure. Here are the formulas for finding the area of different plane figures. Let's start with square. So, here is the formula. A is equal to S times S or side times side. So, the given side is 6 centimeter. So, 6 times 6 is 36 centimeters squared. Next is we have the rectangle. The formula in finding the area of a rectangle is A is equal to L times W or length times width. So let's say we have 4 times 5 is 20 centimeters squared. Here is another plane figure which is a triangle. The formula in finding the triangle is A is equal to 1 half times base times height or mas simplified natin ito or isisimplified natin to as A is equal to base times height divided by 2. Bakit divided by 2? It represents the 1 half. So, here is the example. So, the base is 6 multiplied by the height 7 divided by 2. So, 6 times 7 is 42. Then, 42 divided by 2 is 21 meters squared. Next is we have the parallelogram. The formula in finding the parallelogram is A is equal to B times H or base times height. So the base of the figure is 5 meter and the height is 8 meter. So 5 times 8 is 40 meters squared. Another figure is the trapezoid. So here is the formula in finding the area of a trapezoid. A is equal to one half of B1 plus B2 times height. Or, pwede din natin gamitin ang formula na ito. A is equal to B1 plus B2 times height divided by 2. Divided by 2 bilang represent ng 1 half. So, in the given figure, ang base 1 natin ay 4 plus ng base 2 natin which is 8 times height natin which is 5 divided by 2. So, 4 plus 8 is equal to 12 times 5 divided by 2. So, we have 60 divided by 2 is equal to 30 centimeters squared. Let's try to solve this. Mr. Pablo bought a residential lot in their barangay. It is 15 meters long and 10 meters wide. What is the area of a lot? 
the problem or this word problem is an example of routine problem solving. To answer the problem, let's just follow the steps. 1. Understand. Know what is asked for in the problem. So, sa problem, what is the ask? The area of residential lot bought by Mr. Pablo. Then, find the given. So, create a visual representation of the problem through illustration. So, suppose ito ang residential lot ni Mr. Pablo. So, it is shaped as rectangle. So, the given here now is the 15 meters long and the 10 meters wide. 2. Plan. So, determine the formula in finding the area of the figure. So, mahalaga na magkaroon tayo ng o magdraw tayo ng illustration para ma-identify natin kung anong formula ang ating gagawin. Since ang ating illustration ay rectangle, ang formula na ating gagawin ay, or gagamitin ay, A is equal to L times W or length times width. Then, what is the number sentence? So, since may formula na tayo na A is equal to L times W, the number sentence ay, A is equal to 15 meters times 10 meters. And 3. Solve. Apply the formula to solve the problem. So, we have now A is equal to L times W. Then, 15 times 10 is equal to 150 meters squared. So, wag natin kakalimutan ang unit or ilagay yung unit. And then, step 4, write the complete answer. The area of residential lot bought by Mr. Pablo is 150 meters squared. There you have it. Napakadali at napakasimple lamang ng pag-solve ng word problem. Tama? Here is another example of word problem. What is the area of a square board which has 12 cm on all sides? What will happen to the area if you double the side? The word problem is an example of non-routine problem solving. To solve it, Pwede tayong gumamit ng iba't ibang strategy or technique para ma-solve yung problem. So for the meantime, let's follow these steps. 1. Understand. Know what is asked for in the problem. So in the problem, we have what happened to the area of the square board if doubled the side. Find the given. So, we have two given here. The area of the square board whose side is 12 cm and the area of the square board whose side is being doubled. Two, plan. Illustrate the problem. So, magdodraw tayo ng square to represent the problem. So, here is we have... This is the square whose measured 12 cm in each side. And the other one, kapag dinobol daw natin ang 12. So, kapag dinobol natin ang 12, magiging 24. So, ito ang square board whose doubled the side. So, it will become now the 24 cm. 3. We are now going to solve. So, first, we need to get or kukunin muna natin ang area ng smaller square and sunod ay ang 
bigger square. Then afterwards, we are now going to compare the area. So let's say we have, since is square siya, ang formula na gagamitin natin ay A is equal to S times S. So dito muna tayo sa smaller square. So 12 times 12 is 144 centimeters squared. Ito ang area ng square board who's measured 12 cm in each side. Next, dito tayo sa malaki or bigger square board. So, same thing din or same din ang formula na gagamitin natin since parehas din silang square. So, we have A is equal to S times S or side times side. And then, 24 times 24, the area of the bigger a square is 576 centimeters squared. So, ibig sabihin, mula dito or kung ang 12 centimeter na square board ay na doble na naging 24 centimeter, ibig sabihin, Pwede tayong makagawa ng 4 squares or 4 na square na mayroong side na 12 cm. So, katulad nito. So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 na square na ang bawat measure ay 12 cm. Kanina, sinolve natin ang area ng parehas na Square. So, ang area ng maliit na square is 144 cm squared, while the bigger or the larger square ay 576 cm squared. Now, ipinapakita sa figure na ang original square has an area of 144 cm squared. So, the square whose side is being doubled o dinoble natin yung laki has an area of 576 cm squared. As you can see, the larger square is 4 times the smaller square or mas malaki ng apat na beses. Thus, its area is also 4 times the smaller square. 4 or step 4, write or state the complete answer. So, therefore, the area is 4 times the original square if the side is being doubled. It becomes 576 cm squared. Ibig sabihin, ang area daw ay mas malaki ng apat na beses sa kanyang original square kapag ang side ay dinoble. Remember, the steps in solving either routine or non-routine word problems are Understand Know what is asked and given Plan Know the formula or operation to be used. Write the number sentence. Then, solve. Solve the problem and write the correct units. Then, write or state the complete answer. That ends our video lesson for today. So, I hope you learned something in this video. Kids, don't forget to like and share this video. Bye!